Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So as you can see, there's a level up event going on and a mutant advancement. And let me show you guys uh, real quick here. In my overflow, as soon as we can get there, in my overflow, I have some mutant class catalysts. And they're not close to expiring, but I don't like to wait. So this is the best time for me to rank up or level up uh, mutant champions. However, before I do that, what I want to do, since I normally open up these mutant and skill uh, crystals hunting for Aegon, this is the best time because I might get an Omega Red or a Namor. And if I do, then... I'll be able to rank them up during this time. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, as you can see, I have enough for four of them. If I get an Aegon early, then I won't open up all of them, uh, but we'll see. I also have a uh, featured five-star crystal to open up that we'll open up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start grabbing these. This will be our first one. You can see the dupe counter up there. Um, let's see, right there. And uh, what I want out of this crystal off to the left, the biggest one is Aegon. But if I can get a five star Omega Red or a Namor, that would be awesome. All right, so we're gonna let it spin out. Uh, we have been hunting for Aegon for a while. Uh, let's see, slowing down. What do we got? I see you, Aegon just waving at me. That's all right. Hey, um, that's gonna be a Max Sig ability crystal. Uh, not a bad pull by any means. Uh, I love my Havoc, I use him all the time in AQ, um, but he's not gonna help me out here. So that is uh, unfortunately just another dupe, but we did get six star shards, so loving that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, spin this one out as well. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm currently doing something uh, with the family. Uh, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet here. Uh, but they're going to hear me if I get an egg on, I'll tell you that. But let's see what we can get. Um, if I can get an Omega Red or a Namor, that would be awesome. I'm not sure if I want to take Namor up. Uh, Omega Red definitely will go up to rank five. A Namor, I probably will get him up eventually, but I'm not sure. And if we don't get a new mutant champion, then I'm going to just go ahead and rank up one of my four stars, probably my Colossus, uh, to rank five. All right, slowing down again. Ooh, spinning a lot. Are we having connection issues? Yep, we sure are. Is that a sign? I don't know. Come on. It would do this now when I'm kind of in a hurry. And it's still going. Since the update, this server has been running horribly. I'll tell you that. All right, now, slowing down. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, oh man. Now, that would have been an awesome pull, but this is actually the third time we have pulled Nick Fury. If you didn't see that opening, we pulled Nick Fury twice in the same opening. We got him and awakened him in the same opening. Um, I don't think his uh, awakened ability is going to help me out all that much. Um, but if I didn't already have him awakened, that would have been an insane pull right there all right but it's all good let's keep going and see what else we can get maybe nick fury was doing something and that's why it was spinning like that yeah nick fury he's shifty all right so let's just keep going uh there's only one skill champion that i want out of this thing i'll tell you that um and funny enough i don't really like Aegon. when he's ramped up He's a beast. 
And of the champions that do require some ramp up, I like him the best. But not a great fan of that type of a champion that has to be ramped up. All right, let's see, slowing down. Why does he keep doing that? I keep seeing that Omega Red just waving at me. Um, but we got Taskmaster. It's a dupe. Um, that's pretty much what I expect to get out of these uh, crystals. Um, I have most of them that are in here. So um, dupes are what you can expect. So not surprised, not really disappointed. It's just, it is. I'm not going into the abyss without an Aegon. So the longer... I don't get an Aegon, the longer it's going to take me to do the Abyss. Now, maybe a champion will come out that I can do the Abyss with cheaply, because that's the key. You can do the Abyss with a variety of champions, but how much is it going to cost you in resources? And I'm not trying to spend a lot in resources. So Aegon is recognized as the one that's going to reduce your usage the most. So I don't want to do it without him. All right, last try for this crystal opening. What do we got? Nope, that's not the mutant that I would have liked to see. Uh, now I believe she's, yeah, that's all natural, natural uh, 100. All right, so the hunt for Aegon will continue. Now we do have that uh, featured and I grabbed that from the event the side event that's going on right now mutant treasure island uh in the uh tier three i got the tier three uh key and went into the epic difficulty and grabbed that one now out of this one really uh sorcerer supreme and red guardian okay those are the only ones that i would want let's uh turn that off there uh, that's the only ones I would want. Um, there is Black Widow, Deadly Origins. Would not mind her. Uh, but for the most part, I believe I have pretty much all the rest of the champions in here. There's Terax I don't have either. So any new champion out of this would be great. But Red Guardian or Sorcerer Supreme would be awesome. All right. Slowing down. What do we got? Somebody good? Somebody good? Okay. So if you guys have been watching... The last feature that I got was Emma Frost. Okay, so that's 60. I've gotten Emma Frost now out of this featured uh, crystal twice now. Uh, so anyway, what this means is that I am going to more than likely take up my four star uh, Colossus. We'll hit up the uh, milestones for the mutant advancement. I'll also be able to use up the uh, catalyst that you saw in the overflow and uh call it a day and i might rank up somebody else depending on uh what comes next for the solo event uh that's just kind of a game i like to play if there's a mutant advancement then i'll rank up one of my mutants and it just so happens that i had some in the overflow so it's perfect uh, i don't really have anyone that i really want to take up uh to like rank five i could do magneto uh to rank five i thought about that but not right now uh, maybe later. He is worthy of a rank five to be sure. Um, but I might do that later. So that's going to do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. The hunt for Aegon continues. Uh, so take care and you all have a blessed day.